Felipe, as far as I went out, fool. He's like, <laughs> well, have you used Zoom before? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> We're a couple this, times. This is my first time the, during the pandemic. <laughs> I, I just gave up. Why do I want to go? Up? I don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah. How are you? I'm great. How are you guys? We're really good. Thank you so much for asking. We are so excited to have you at Comedy Jam coming up on March 1st. I mean, you're such a big name. You have your Netflix specials. You're on Last Comic Standing, obviously. You got a successful podcast. You've been in, like, all these different movies. So, Dude, get off his nuts I'm not already. on anybody's Jeez. nuts, first Come of on. all. Um, Felipe Esparza, I want to ask you, because you're an actually funny guy, right? Yes. This guy. <laughs> What's he gonna say? No. Well, everybody knows that you're you're funny. This guy. This is this is my buddy Graham here. He thinks it's funny, and you're gonna think I'm joking. This has actually happened. He thinks it's funny to trap his farts in jars, and then he tricks his female coworkers into smelling them. Please tell him that is not funny. I mean, that would be funny if if you were your brother, but it's creepy if he's not. No, it's not. It's not creepy. I just told him I was visiting. Yeah. They, they my brothers to... and I, my brother, he used to do that though. We used to wrestle, and then he'll put like uh, he'll fart inside a sandwich bag, and then seal it, and then run up to people and open it in their nose. Yeah, see, I think that's called a buttercup. I can't remember what they call it. Oh. Also, uh, if you're like near somebody and if you fart and then you hold it on your hand and then throw it at them, it's like oh. the last airbender. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe that's a buttercup. That really yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's a buttercup. It. That's right. You throw it, or, yeah. or or unless you're with somebody in the blankets, then you put the sheets over them. Yeah, so that's, that's the that's Mexican the gas chamber, or or the <laughs> a Dutch yeah. oven, old school. The Dutch ovens for uh, for us white people. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's a different uh, different ones. Felipe, answer this: Why are guys so gross? Why are I don't know, man. I just we just find um dirty humor different in women like like um like me and this guy your partner we were in the same bathroom and we didn't even know each other and we saw somebody taking a loud crap suffering him and I would become best friends just laughing oh yeah we'd be high we'd be at the stall next to each other high five high like, five we'll take it to the yeah. next level try to find out what kind of shoes he's wearing. What is wrong with you guys? What do you think? I mean, I, look, you say that, and you were laughing the time that you smelled the fart jar. Well, she wasn't, wasn't laughing. I almost cried. Well, okay, at least it, because it almost burned my eyes. But I think, and because I can't believe you did that to me. But I mean, you've done a million shows. Like ladies like to say that they don't find humor that kind of crosses the line a little bit funny, but they're the ones laughing the loudest. Like I think you know, it's a, I think it's all an act. I was having sex, and a woman farted in my mouth. <laughs> when we're when we're at opposite ends, and I, and um, you know, I don't want to hurt her feelings, you know, so I just I don't want to say, hey man, what's up with that? But I I didn't want to, you know, I don't want to make the situation uncomfortable, so I just have to swallow with my pride, you know. Oh, no, you don't want to have to eat the fart. Is that a story? Yeah, I just went. I just took it all in, like. I think you only. I looked at her later on, and I said, you know what? You did eat my cheesecake. <laughs> I, I knew it. I, she's lactose intolerant. I I mean, you only have two options there, right? You either have to... You spit it out. Eat. You spit or swallow. You're, you're, you're a swallower? <laughs> right. I guess you have to either. You gotta hold it in, man. You don't want to hurt the other person's feelings because they know they already... They know what they did, you know? Yeah, they know. Yeah. You want to... You don't want to be like, wow, man, there must be a motorcycle outside or something. <laughs> I think you have to send one back. It's sort of an eye for an eye situation. These lawnmower guys. Women would um extend the same um courtesy to us, you know, like if if we're not willing to ignore that there was uh, extra noise and extra smell in the room, a woman should ignore dirty underwear she finds in the hamper. We can't. Like if a woman I feel like if a man, you know, had a little discharge, you know, he was laughing too hard and he threw it in a hamper, a woman should look at that underwear and go, ignore it, you know, and just put it, keep watch it instead of bring it up in a conversation later when she's mad. Yeah, only in You fight. know, like, and women could throw it in a conversation good, like, 
Like your mom could just die, and a, your wife would be like, "Yeah, but you know who else should die? Whoever left that underwear like that." Yeah. You know how I know I have a good wife because she doesn't ever bring it up, and I know I've left a couple bombs in there before. Yeah. But she maybe she doesn't. May, I always thought maybe she didn't find them, but maybe she, she doesn't. We she just noticed. She just loves me. She doesn't said not say anything about it. Yeah. Me, yeah, I hide them. When I get when I go on the road, it's like she has a little uh, scavenger hunt around the house. Her and a dog. I mean, depending on the level of the crime scene, sometimes you just have to throw them away. Like I can't risk putting this in the laundry basket and having it meet the rest of my normal clothes. That's disgusting. Do you hide? Do you do the thing where you hide it in your pants leg? Oh yeah, roll it up tight, wrap a sock around it, and then right. throw it in. You guys are gross, but this the is way. getting gross. Felipe Esparza, I know that you want to get more into TV and films, but you, you've already, you know, have your foot in that door. You've been doing that for a while now. Do you have a preference doing, um, like, scripted gigs over stand-up, or do you like stand-up more? I feel like you can be yourself more when you're in front of an audience, you know, doing a stand-up set. I like I like stand-up more, but I, I, I like acting now. I'm getting better at it. Plus, I get little little small roles, so I don't, I don't really got to remember too many lines. And I like that. I just go in there, hey, how you guys doing? And then boom, I'm out of the scene. I get paid. I go back to home. Nice. I don't, I, don't, nice. I don't have to go out there and promote the movie or nothing like that. I don't have to get up early and do a press junket. I'm the guy you just pour it and go, oh, 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 that's, oh that's him. I got that in. Because I always thought that uh, the people would ask me, Felipe, when are you going to be in a movie with Tom Cruise or Robert De Niro or Pacino? But these these people have never met these actors in real life. They're like five foot one. You know, they're five foot two. I'm six foot one. The only way we're going to be in the same movie is if I'm on the other screen on the phone with them. Because I don't think Tom Cruise wants to look 4 foot 11 on the screen, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, so the only way I'm going to be in a movie like that is where if, if if The Rock or Tom Cruise, they're in a scene where they crash into a jungle <laughs> and they walk into a bar and there's a, 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 a savage guy with long hair, arm wrestling, two women, and then the, Tom Cruise or The Rock says, I'm looking for a airplane pilot named Ruben. And I get up and go, I haven't heard that name in 25 years. <laughs> and boom, I'm out of the scene. Yeah. We have to write that and we'll, we'll uh, shop it around to Hollywood. <laughs> Just, uh, are we on the line? I haven't been there in 25 years. I would watch that. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Okay, Felipe. Well, we're really excited to see you at Comedy Jam. Yeah. I cannot wait to see your set. I know it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> and you're on the lineup with some really other awesome comics. So it's going to be a fun night, March 1st at a SAP Center in San Jose. Um, we can't wait to see you. Thanks for taking time out of your morning to talk to us. I can't wait to be over there and do the show and go grab some of that famous orange sauce from LaVic. Oh, I got a bottle of that in my fridge right one. now. I need some right now. <laughs> oh, he looks great to the vein. Inspire. <laughs> All right, Felipe, we'll see you March 1st. Thank you, guys. Have a Bye. good one. Thank you.